even though there's not enough corrupt politicians being convicted, I'm always glad to see when one is convicted. Larry Householder right there spent tonight in jail. Today, a federal judge sentenced him to 20 years in prison, in fact, for running the largest public corruption scheme in Ohio history. WCPO 9 investigative reporter Paula Christian was at the courthouse when the jury convicted Householder in March, and she was there today as well for his sentencing. Judge Black gave a scathing speech before he ordered Larry Householder taken into custody by the U.S. Marshals, saying the community and the courts, patience with him, had expired. Prosecutors compared Householder to a mob boss who demanded loyalty and ran a complicated scheme to funnel $60 million in bribes from Akron-based First Energy in exchange for a $1.3 billion bailout to help the company. Wow, so he took like a fraction of the money. He he got like a fraction of the money he stole from the taxpayers to give to this business. I wonder if that business is also being investigated for giving bribes. Judge Tim Black says that money could have been used for scholarships or small business funding. Quote, you handed it over to a bunch of suits in private jets. We didn't see any remorse. Uh, this is, uh, you know, it, 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 it is not uh, uncommon for companies to be bribing politicians to get, you know, billions in kickbacks. This is why uh, invest, uh, companies need to be heavily investigated for corruption. Morse from him. And... It was apparent the judge didn't either. U.S. Attorney Ken Parker says Householder was an imposter posing as a public servant who put his own needs ahead of the Ohioans who elected him. So That's typical of politicians, which is why politicians need to be heavily investigated. So he received the accountability that was due. Parker says public corruption is still a top priority for his office, and more charges could be coming against others who are part of this massive bribery and money laundering scheme. We continue to look through evidence and we continue to listen to recordings and speak to individuals. Um, so we're going to go, if something's there, we're going to go there too. Two others pleaded guilty, lobbyist Juan Cispedes and Householder staffer Jeff Longstreth, and testified against Householder at trial. Former Ohio Republican Party Chair Matt Borges was also convicted at trial with Householder. Judge Black is set to sentence Borges on Friday. Prosecutors are asking for five to eight years of prison time. The big question... Now, all these people should just be put in prison for the rest of their life for uh, the corruption that they've done. Uh, I mean, if you're given this kind of uh, power, uh, you can uh, take some harsh punishments for your corruption. The question now is whether the judge will order Borges to be taken into custody immediately, like he did for Householder. Paula Christian, WC.